Dr. Dana Susskind is author of 30 Million Words, Building a Child's Brain, which draws on the most up-to-date cognitive research to argue that early exposure to spoken language can help children do better in school and succeed in life. She visited Child Trends to discuss how speaking to young children can effectively close the American achievement gap. Dana Susskind, welcome to Child Trends. We are so happy to have you here, and congratulations on your on your book, 30 Million Words. It's terrific. Thank you. So you know at Child Trends we track and analyze data on children, on children's well-being. Um, we know, for example, that, that children born into low-income families are less likely to be read to uh, by a family member on a regular basis, and we know that they, uh, on average, enter pre-K with cognitive skills and early early literacy skills that aren't on a par with their peers. You say that the roots of, um, uh, of many of these disparities are in um, the presence or absence of language-rich early environments. Could you connect those dots for us yeah. a little bit? So actually one of the most powerful um, research papers that, I, that I've seen was, uh, came out of Child Trends, in fact, uh, Dr. Tamara Halley, who demonstrated that by nine months of age, children living born into low-income homes will have disparities in, in their cognitive development as well as others. Um, and by 24 months, uh, it significantly increases. And I think it really points to the fact that these disparities, you know, the achievement gap, mm -hmm. if you will, begins long before a child, you know, steps into school into their school classroom, mm -hmm. even before they take their first step. And that if we're ever going to make headway or even move the needle on this achievement gap, we must start beginning to think, start thinking it, of it as a preventative as opposed mm -hmm. to a remedial issue. Um, sort of a public health approach, if you will. So I want to make the question a little harder though. Yeah, More please. than half of um, poor kids are not in um, uh, formal yeah. At child care centers. They're in. They're in informal care. They're. They're cared for by by a relative. How do we. How do we reach those parents with the messages about uh, early, uh, early language rich environments? Uh, actually, parents are. They're not subjects in our program. They are truly partners at every step of our, uh, of the way, mm -hmm. from believe it or not, curriculum development. Every every. Uh, curriculum that we develop is done in partnership with parents. I always, t I always talk about the fact that so many ideas that we thought were, ugh, oh, this is a compelling way to translate the science, and the parents are like, no, 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 that is really <laughs> Not ridiculous. So. <laughs> Not so much. Um, and it really points to the fact that parents are interested in the science. They want to know the science. I always say if a surgeon can enjoy the science, everybody can. <laughs> um, and they are they give really important feedback. Um, you know, obviously all of our programs are parent directed uh, or caregiver directed and um, so in the testing and the feedback as to what worked and what didn't work, uh, they're critical partners as well. But I wanted to mention uh, a part of our program that really gets me excited. Um, it's called Spread the Words, uh -huh. and it's uh, it's an important part of our home visiting curriculum, mm -hmm. and will be sort of sp you know uh, where parents not only understand the science and the strategies to become agents of change in their own children's lives, mm -hmm. but really as agents of change in their community. So as they learn these strategies in science, they actually go and talk to you know, their daycare centers, their pastors, you know, their family, and right. it's been incredibly powerful. We've actually had a number of our uh, parents, you know, share this message with their home daycare provider, who are actually quite receptive. So I think there are a number of different ways uh, and strategies to, for reaching all, all adults. Dana Suskin, it's so great to have you here. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, we are uh, thrilled uh, with your book. I'm thrilled with the message, the research-based, science-based, evidence-based message that you are sending, not just to parents, but to the entire country. And we are looking forward to working with you uh, in, in concert with you uh, uh, in the years to come. Thank you Thanks so for much. being here. Thank you, thank, thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. <laughs>